Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And we are in a new week. It's going to start out very warm and humid today. Not too much is going to be happening. A repeat performance of uh, yesterday and Saturday for the most part. And then we're going to get into some rain for later Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday, and probably into Wednesday night. Uh, this is the rainfall forecast off the Weather Service digital forecast tool, and this takes us to 8 p.m. Wednesday evening. So we're not counting anything that falls into early Thursday morning because we'll, we may still have one last surge to get through. But the rainfall is going to be substantial, and we're talking about rainfall amounts in the order of about an inch and a half to two inches through 8 o'clock Wednesday evening. And it's going to be particularly important for areas in New England where we have some of these areas under extreme drought conditions. And they'll pick up a bigger surge Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but uh, looking at three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half uh, in, uh, in uh, New England, higher amounts as you head up into southern New England. Meanwhile, we look in southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, on southward into Virginia, we're seeing about an inch and a half to as much as two inches and lesser amounts as you go west into Pennsylvania. This looks like the core of this is going to run up the uh, coastal plain, uh, which is um, the driest north and east of New York City. It's not uh, a drought condition south and west of uh, New York City and back into eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, the uh, summer in, in that area and also down into the mid-Atlantic states was pretty wet. So at least uh, from that standpoint, there's no drought at all to worry about there. Okay, so let's take a look at the satellite uh, this morning. And we're starting to see the upper trough in the west that is dropping southward. This is uh, the uh, energizer uh, for bringing moisture up the east coast. Uh, still have a little bit of moisture this morning uh, along the uh, immediate uh, uh, coastal areas and on up into New England in the form of some clouds. There's not much in the way of precipitation, though. Uh, with uh, with all of this. And if we look at the radar in the Northeast, a couple of bands of scattered showers that are pushing northward. Uh, you see one up in northern New Hampshire, another one moving up uh, into the uh, Catskills and points north. Um, still another band in eastern Virginia, eastern North Carolina. And as we head south, some scattered precip uh, early today in Florida. But the real action here is back in the Ohio Valley. And this is with the, uh, the the cold front that is swinging eastward where we're seeing a rather large area of showers and even a few thunderstorms uh, that uh, are extending from uh, as far south as uh, southwest uh, northwest louisiana and then going all the way up into the great lake so we have to really wait for all of this to just pivot around and that's not going to get here until later on tomorrow the weather prediction center you can see that uh, red uh, and orangish streak that runs from eastern North Carolina all the way up through Maine. We're talking about uh, two to as much as three or four inches of rain in total for the next seven days. And this would be, this would certainly put a very serious dent in the drought conditions in New England. But the rainfall amounts do tail off once you go uh, say west of the New Jersey Pennsylvania state line you're talking about maybe an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half but uh, still it has been rather dry for the last couple of weeks many areas haven't seen a drop of rain in 17 days so we have a pretty long that's a very long streak in our neck of the woods to go without uh, any rainfall so looking at the uh, the surface map uh, this morning uh, we're seeing uh, not much happening. A couple of fronts out there showing up on the plots to the west. We have a big high offshore, the southerly flow this time of year, which means that the mornings are kind of ugly with low clouds, and then they burn off to maybe some breaks of sunshine, and we'll see temperatures that'll be up in the mid-70s to around 80 for this afternoon. So here's how it's going to work in terms of the upper air. Uh, we have this deep trough that's dropping down. Just going to roll it back here. Uh, we uh, have been sitting in this west to east flow for quite a long time, which means that we just get weak weather systems that move on through. But now we're seeing this uh, energy that is dropping from the western lakes 
And particularly the southern part of this energizes with that upper low that forms in western Tennessee and starts to swing eastward. So this is for one, tomorrow night. You have a very, very deep trough. Look how far south the jet stream goes and you get a strong south-southwest flow up the east coast. And this is bringing up a, a ton of moisture. And that short wave that's down in Tennessee just lifts up and around. And this trough in the east stays in the east. So once we get rid of all of this early Thursday, uh, the uh, temperatures are going to be headed down. This is a colder flow from Canada that's going to be around right through the weekend and beyond. And there's still going to be some more shortwave troughs moving along in the flow here. So that will afford the opportunity for maybe additional showers, although the timing of, of that is um, still in question. So just a quick look at what this looks like on the surface map. And you'll see how it plays out. So no issues today. Yeah, there could be a pop-up shower for somebody, but that'll be about it. And then we'll start to see weather conditions deteriorate on Tuesday with an increasing area of showers during the afternoon into tomorrow night. And you see the heavy rains that come Wednesday, uh, overnight into Wednesday morning uh, in the northeast and down into the northern mid-Atlantic states. That's the first wave going by. The front goes offshore, stalls out again. And then we should see a second wave that develops. So I'm going to just run through this again. So here's this first batch that goes through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then you have, uh, actually now the model seems to have backed off from the second batch. So we'll see if that's, that is correct. It looks like it has one solid shot of rain uh, that comes through here and then uh, moves on out. And weather conditions actually start to improve going into Thursday. So that's just a bit of a change from the new GFS. And then it looks like it look, it, it's dry at, uh, at going into the weekend. All right, so uh, the other thing is, the one other thing to point out is that uh, if you look down uh, in the Northwest Caribbean, you see that the model at the, as we get toward the weekend and going into uh, early next week, starts to uh, develop something in the Northwest Caribbean. And we've mentioned that this is the one area that I think uh, we'd have to pay attention to. Uh, there's not much going on there at the moment, but the Hurricane Center actually does mention this uh, now in their five-day outlook. Uh, where they highlight an area of uh, a broad area of low pressure that will uh, could conform later this week. And uh, so right at the moment, a 20% chance of this developing into a tropical cyclone in the next five days. It'll probably, something does develop, it'll probably be uh, over the weekend and into early next week and not through the five the five day work week. Uh, so uh, nothing uh, nothing short term to worry about as far as the tropics are concerned. All right, folks. So weather in five uh, is uh, done for today. Have a great day. Uh, we will have, of course, additional weather posts today on my weather platform on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. If you uh, subscribe to that, uh, you get 15% uh, off on an annual subscription. So that actually gives you two months free. And if you're a, a current member, you can uh, change to an annual and also get the 15% discount. And it's a great way to support what I'm doing uh, with uh, all the weather stuff that I do online. And uh, those of you who are listening via podcasts, uh, welcome. Uh, we love having you. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, the Patreon site as well as uh, meteorologistjochaffee.com, the website. And you can download the free weather app on uh, the Meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app on Google Play or on the App Store. Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. We'll see you then.